so uh, let us welcome uh, sukrut mundka from iit roorkee so he will oh, be talking so, about iit madras uh, sorry iit yes. iit madras yeah sorry, iit madras um so uh, he will be talking about relaxation dynamics of a semi holographic black brain and open quantum systems so i will knock you at 13 minutes okay. you can try to wind up that okay thanks please go ahead yeah. yeah so thank you for the opportunity to speak in this conference uh, now yeah the title is this relaxation dynamics of semi holographic black brain and its connection to open quantum systems uh, and it is based on this paper yeah so this is the uh, this figure is a schematic of heavy ion collision experiments where two massive uh, two heavy nuclei uh, traveling at ultra relativistic speed collide with each other and that produces a deconfined um, state of quarks and gluons at very high temperatures and densities and then this matter produced goes through various stages of evolution so at early stages when energies are very high the weak coupling description such as kinetic theory is uh, suitable whereas in uh, the quark gluon plasma phase uh, which is produced at intermediate stages uh, can be described uh, is a strongly coupled fluid Uh, with very low value of uh, viscosity to entropy ratio uh, so this is uh, so at uh, so basically at different stages uh, this matter admits uh, different uh, effective theories as uh, best physical description so these are the plots for such different uh, uh, poles of retarded propagator or singularities of retarded propagator in different such effective theories so for so all of these uh, effective theories are same hydrodynamic pole which is this cross a uh, blue cross uh, whereas the non hydrodynamic uh, uh, singularities are different in different effective theories uh, for example ads cft has this uh, christmas tree uh, positron modes um, arranged in christmas tree structure uh, the kinetic theory has a branch cut which correspond to localized quasi particles israel stuart hydrodynamics has one non hydrodynamic pole on negative match the axis and so on uh, even though this theory is describe um, different aspects of heavy ion collisions uh, the qgp coulomb plasma itself can have very different non analytic structure so one would, we would like to see what happens uh, like how this non hydrodynamic uh, modes change when we couple a weak description like a kinetic theory with uh, some strong description like some strongly coupled holographic theory so as a first step we start uh, we couple a instead of kinetic theory we just couple a massless scalar field with a strongly coupled holographic theory so that that is the model that i will describe now which is which is in the paper paper so in this model this is the action of the system s so first term so chi is the massless scalar field so first term is the action for massless scalar field and then the other Uh, thing is this uh, strongly coupled holographic cft so w cft is the action for this strongly coupled cft a small h is the source which deforms this uh, cft now the two sectors uh, talk with each other via this special kind of coupling called semi holographic coupling where the source of each source uh, of each sector uh, is promoted to to be the operate uh, promoted to be the functional of operator of other sector so the source that deforms the uh, strongly coupled sector the cft is operator of the this weakly coupled sector uh, this massless scalar chi and this beta is the semi called semi holographic coupling um now this massless scalar can be thought of as some composite gauge degree of freedom like a meson or baryon field and it can, further it can be a core stone of some spontaneously broken symmetry um now uh, since this coupling is linear therefore it will modify the uh, okay sorry so the, since if cft is holographic it is dual to some black brain in the bulb uh, with the deformation corresponding to the dalton in the bulb and since this coupling is uh, linear it will modify the the cosinal mode spectrum of this black brain which is dual to the cft now this math kelch is the cft operator dual to the bulk electron and according to ads cft theory we have this relation where w cft is same as the on shell gravity action of dual gravity theory with the source small h replaced by this phi zero which is the leading term in dilaton near bond or uh, near bond expansion uh, so we have 
these are the equations of the system. So firstly, holographic sector has this Einstein equations and uh, Klein Gordon equation for Berg electron. Then uh, the as I said earlier, uh, there's the two, the two sector talk with each other by uh, sourcing each other. So the uh, massless scalar uh, of the scalar sector sources this uh, holographic sector by the semi holographic relation phi zeros minus beta chi. And a CFT operator, chi, uh, sources the scalar sector, boundary scalar sector by modifying its equation like this. So each sector is sourced by the other sector. Uh, yeah, since both uh, mass boundary scalar chi and this bulk electron phi are massless, the the model has this uh, these has these two shift symmetries, but these two shift symmetries are not independent, uh, but they are broken to diagonal because of this semi holographic coupling. Uh, this relation. Um, yeah. So the full system stress tensor is the sum of the stress tensors of individual subsystem. And the subsystem ward entities imply that this full system energy momentum tensor is always conserved. Uh, yeah, so I will describe now the results of the paper. So firstly, we compute the Poisson-Hall modes. Uh, uh, of the hybrid fluctuations of this Berg electron and the boundary scalar chi about the equilibrium background. So the equilibrium configuration is ADS4 Schwarzschild uh, black brain with vanishing phi and vanishing chi. So these uh, causing hybrid causal modes uh, should satisfy these two boundary conditions, uh, which are generalizations of the usual causal mode boundary conditions at uh, boundary and horizon. So first is uh, uh, equation of motion for the boundary scalar uh, with by using this uh, semi holographic relation, and second is the expression for the uh, CFT operator H uh, obtained from holographic renormalization. Uh, so, I will show the results for the homogeneous case when k equal to momentum is zero uh, with this animation. So, this, this so in this animation, the beta is increased from zero larger values so for first screenshot is snapshot is when beta is zero so we have this decoupled causal modes of the strongly coupled sector and these two zero modes sitting at the origin now i'll play the animation so one of the zero mode is lifted because of the semi holographic coupling and moves down the negative imaginary axis whereas there is another mode another two more modes that appear uh, one moving up from negative imaginary axis and one on the positive imaginary axis now this one moving from negative imaginary axis collides with this lifted zero mode. We call it a quasi hydro mode. And the two become propagating mode after collision. Whereas there's one on the positive imaginary axis, it just stays there, but, but moves closer to the origin. So uh, one, uh, firstly, at large values of beta uh, with this dimensionless uh, combination, uh, the positions of these uh, modes becomes independent of each other on this complex frequency plane, independent of uh, beta uh, on the complex frequency plane. So temperature is the only scale that remains in the problem. So there is an immersion conformality in the hybrid system at large values of beta. Secondly, this uh, the, even though there is a pole on upper half plane, the system is stable. There is no instability since the total energy is the sum of the energies of the individual sectors, the scalar boundary scalar and the holographic sector. And each of these sector is uh, each of these energies is positive definite and bounded by above by the total energy. So there is no instability. Uh, now, as we, I, I will show in the uh, with the result of nonlinear simulation that this unstable mode uh, drives the initial transfer of energy from black brain to the boundary sector, whereas this quasi hydro mode, which is this lifted zero mode, uh, drives the uh, in all the energy in the system to the black brain at asymptotically late times. So this quasi hydro mode is um, uh, parametrically close to the origin, have small values of the coupling beta, and therefore this late time transfer is very slow to the black brain. Yeah, so next, uh, so, so far I only talked everything, everything was only at linear level. So now I will uh, give, I will describe the uh, results of the nonlinear simulation. So we start with some nonlinear, so start with the um, initial state of this hybrid system and study its time evolution. So I will skip the details of the calculation, only show the results. So the top plot is for the boundary scalar, time, time evolution of boundary scalar. 
chi. So the black dash line is when beta is zero, when it is decoupled from the holographic sector, it will be just a straight line. But when it, when it is coupled, so for beta equal to 0 0.1, the blue curve, so it will eventually at time, at asymptotically at time, it will become flat. So the chi will become constant. So lower pl two plots are for the energies of the east of sector. So the energy of the boundary sector E kinetic, which will be half chi dot square. So at late time, since chi becomes constant, it will go to zero. And yeah, so as anticipated, and all the energy will be go to the black plane at late times. As anticipated from the positron mode analysis, um, at early time, some of the energy from black brain is absorbed by this boundary sector, and this is driven by that unstable mode that I showed you. Whether late time all the energy goes to the black black brain, and this late time transfer is is driven by this quasi hydro mode, which is parametrically close to origin. Uh, yeah. So this model is naturally a model for open quantum systems, uh, uh, because so think of this sky as an open system and this uh, black plane or the holographic system as a bath. So, so the, uh, the dynamics will be Marco, non-Markovian because uh, the, there is always a, because the correlation between the black brain and the boundary sector uh, decays only at you know, asymptotically late times when system thermalize. Till then, since the modes are hybrid modes, uh, the two uh, sectors are always correlated at all finite times. And also the total energy, also the energy of, since total energy is finite, the energy of the path is always finite and not infinite as is usually the case for Markovian things. Um, yeah, so yeah, so now I'll describe the, the final section, the uh, the Cosinal modes in the presence of homo in homogeneities. So firstly, there's al also an emergent conformality, just like for k equal to zero, that I showed earlier at large beta. Now, the, so there is a diffusive mode at small k. Uh, and as one uh, increases the value of k, then this diffusive mode collides with the quasi-hydro mode that I showed earlier, and both become propagating mode. And these both the modes are the branches of the same dispersion relation called as k-gap dispersion relation which is found ubiquitously in any different areas of physics. Um, then uh, there exists a zero mode at non-zero k uh, in this model. And uh, it gives rise to uh, instability, which is reminiscent of Gregory Leflamp instability of the black strings in higher dimension. So I will describe this, all these points with just one, this one animation. So this is animation for beta equal to 0 0.35. And in animation, k is increased uh, from zero to larger values. So this mode is the quasi hydro mode. This is this unstable mode. And this is the another mode that comes from negative imaginary axis. I'll just play the animation. So the now in animation, the mode that comes down from the origin is a diffusive mode. It will collide with this quasi hydro mode, as I said, and both become propagating. And all are the branch of the same dispersion. Both have branch of same dispersion relation called the SKGAR dispersion relation. And this, this mode on the negative imaginary axis, it will move up and pass through the origin and then become unstable. So this is the reminiscent of the Gregory Leflam instability. And since it passes through the origin, that means there is a zero mode at non-zero value of k. So this implies that the uh, black brain solution is not necessarily the final state of the time evolution. There could be a turbulent behavior or glassy behavior, which one has to investigate. Yeah, so let me just conclude. So we study the semi-holographic coupling between the scalar field on the boundary and the black brain in the bulb. We see a lot of interesting results uh, of, uh, of the positive mode analysis and also the nonlinear simulations, such as imagine conformity and others that I explained. So this model is a model. This is a good model for an open quantum system where uh, the bath has a finite energy. Then as a next step, we have already start, were, made some progress in coupling a kinetic theory on boundary with the massless scalar. Uh, and yeah, so an uh, interesting question to ask is once we quantize the boundary scalar, will it be able to maintain the long time coherence at small couplings, just like for this current case where the boundary scalar is not quantized? And uh, one would like to investigate the fate of this Gregory Leflam type instability by doing the full non simulation. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Sukur. Uh, most interesting uh, there are questions and comments. Uh, you may please. I have a question. Uh, may I ask? Yeah. 
Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, the question is, uh, how do you make uh, very sure that this is a very good model of open quantum system? Um, because in open quantum system, we do uh, the analysis in a completely different language. I know that you have approached the problem uh, from a little bit QGP side, but could you please uh, tell us why you are so sure that this is a very good model of open quantum system? We usually talk about density matrix, its evolution and all. Okay, so I can't see that uh, features of when quantum system is, it's not about only path, like, uh, could you please tell uh, what you exactly want to mean? Okay, we haven't investigated in this direction. This is just some analogy I was giving, but the idea is that uh, one important thing is that there is always a memory between, it's because of this uh, finite energy, there's always a correlation. No, so my, my question is, so it, since open quantum system you mentioned, there are two possibilities, like either this is Markovian or non-Markovian. Yeah, this will what, be non-Markovian. You are considering non-Markovian, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, when can, because there is always a correlation, so there is a memory with okay, the bar. Okay, okay, and okay. we can solve for the full dynamics. Okay, okay, okay. But have you investigated those possibilities? No, no, that we'll want to do, but we haven't still done that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if there are other questions, comments. Okay, if there are no other questions or comments, uh, let us thank uh, Sukhut uh, for the nice presentation. And uh, you may stop sharing your screen. Uh, can I see the Bordina Ghosh? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yes. Uh, please share your screen. Yes. So, can you see my screen? Hello. Uh, am I audible? Can you see? Yes, yes, yes. You can see. Yes. You can so, see uh, my screen. Uh, yes. The okay. Rabina goes. Uh, 